Hi, I'm Senior Station Officer Troy Thorne from the Mornington Fire Station. Uh, I'm standing here at the epicentre of a major power surge event that occurred in the Mornington area today. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. Uh, we had a call, it started about 9 o'clock this morning actually, we had a call to the Valura Hospital. Went down there to smoke showing in the radiology apartment. When we got there and investigated, we quickly uh, uh, established that the power station, the substation within the private hospital had actually gone into alarm. When we pursued it around to that area, we uh, uh, found out through their maintenance department that um, there had been a major power surge event somewhere in the Mornington area. After getting in contact with Vic Fire and having further uh, multiple pages across uh, our paging network for further calls in the Mornington area, I was able to establish with Vic Fire that a major a power company in the area had been working and had caused the surge, which had obviously called, uh, caused multiple fire calls. Um, quickly recognised then that we needed some RDO support. We had to escalate the incident from uh, level one possibly to level two. We talked about activating the Muraduck ICC, which is normal protocol. Uh, we had ops officer support uh, within the local area, had a couple of them come down, set up a staging point out of uh, Mor Mornington Fire Station and brought in a number of uh, appliances from across the region as far as Dandenong. Uh, Patterson River was here as well, Hastings, Balnarring, several other tankers from within the, within the Western Port area. So we had them all staged here at Mornington, had the Muraduck ICC up and running. Um, and we transferred control to Muraduck ICC uh, for control of the overall event. We went away from the Vic Fire Channel and went to Channel 28 through the ICC and we ran all of the fire calls that related to the power surge through Channel 28 through the Muraduck ICC. So here we are at 1.30 and uh, we've also had the MTV come down from Paddo River, that's set up in the backyard. We've had uh, over 40 fire calls to this event for the day and uh, it's all run fairly smoothly. We're starting to de-escalate a little bit now, we've sent some of the tankers home. We've just got a skeleton arrangement here with uh, three pumpers and uh, obviously Mornington's tanker as well and we're just uh, still running out of Muraduck ICC. We're expecting maybe another peak to occur around about 3.30, around about school time. Uh, there was an emergency alert that went out to the public via the radio networks. So a lot of people, a lot of residents within the Mornington area have become aware of it and that's caused the influx of further calls. We're expecting another peak at around about 3.30 because of the mothers and uh, fathers picking up their kids from school. Uh, they may have that alert when they get home, which may see another peak in the fire call rate. So we've still got a skeleton uh, number of appliances here uh, staged at Mornington. We'll see how that peak goes, and hopefully by around about 4 to 4.30, we should be able to de-escalate back to normal cat arrangements.